name is Camille. And what I do, I run a pizza truck in Southampton. We bake a pizza in a wood fire oven. So it's like a proper pizza, I would call it. Well, beginnings, it's, it's not that simple actually. It didn't like just happen straight away. It was a long process. We, we've started, me and my wife. And obviously for a long, long time, we thought about running a food business. It was something that we wanted to do since, basically since I remember. Eventually we got to the point that we want to start in a food truck. What we did, we bought um, the MX ambulance from the company that I used to work for, and we converted it. We fit wood-fired oven inside. It was a long process. It took a bit longer than anyone would expect, but eventually we started um, about two years ago, in, um, in May 2018. Later on, we, we found a spot in, in Southampton. Um, we started at the beginning at a pub called The Brass Monkey in Shirley Road. There was a, a landlady, very nice, very good friend of mine, Debbie, and she basically she gave us uh, a chance to try. So we put uh, our, our van over there and started making pizzas, me and my wife at the beginning. So that's how it happened. Um, everything, we started from scratches, beginning from like receipt of a dough and learning. Me myself, I didn't have a, I didn't have a experience in a food business. It was like more like customer service in the past. My wife used to work for Italian restaurant, so she was the, the head chef, let's put it this way. And I was, I was dealing with all the other, other stuff, so collecting orders and, and everything else. Yeah, so as I mentioned, at the beginning, we started trading in a, in a food truck, converted ambulance. But after about a year, we've realized the van itself is not big enough for, for this business. We, there was like limited space and the, uh, the oven was uh, a bit smaller than the one that, we use, that we're using now. And obviously there's another point, because um, what we've been doing, we've been trading in one spot, the permanent spot in Shirley, but in the meantime, we've been doing like events, festivals, private bookings. And very often it happened that, you know, basically most of the events happens on the weekends. So it was the thing that when we were doing uh, events, we weren't at our usual spot. So we've been disappointing our customers, because the guys came here to grab a pizza and we're not there. So we decided we need, um, we need some other vehicle, you know, to, to a pizza truck. We've been trading in a van all the time and we've converted uh, a caravan. And the plan was to, um, to keep caravan in a, at the Brass Monkey pub and do festivals, events book and private bookings uh, with a van. But <laughs> what happened then, when we were nearly finished um, the conversion of the caravan, the guys from um, the pub, the Southwestern Arms, where we're actually shooting this, this video, they came and offered us a spot. So we, we had an opportunity to trade in two places in Southampton at, at once. And we thought, you know, that we can't say no to this kind of opportunity. So we started trading here, obviously. In the meantime, we've been doing the, the festivals as well. But the Shirley, the, the main spot of ours, was, was always there. And we've been doing festivals with a van. So when we had a festival, we just you know, had to give up Southwestern for, for one night of a week, for example. But yeah, it worked well. So we've been trading in Southwestern for about six months. And it was, I would say it was good good time for a business. But uh, in autumn last, last year, my wife had to go for maternity leave. So we decided, um, that we won't be able to, to keep two places at the level, customer service and you know, all of it, and the quality, to, we won't be able to provide quality without her. So we've decided that we're gonna give up Southwestern and stay at Brass Monkey and focus on, on, on trading at the Brass Monkey at this time, you know, until she gets back to work. Plan was to keep the van just on the driveway and obviously do uh, events. From, from time to time. But obviously everybody knows what happened at the beginning of 2020. The season of festivals just, you know, disappear, let's put it this way. So big, at the beginning of the year, when we knew that this season won't be uh, as good as the previous one in terms of uh, private bookings, we just decided to sell the van and focus on, on improving the, the, the one spot that we have. But in the meantime, the, um, the owners of the Brass Monkey changed. So this is the only reason why we, why we had to move. Mm, the other guys, um, they thought they didn't want any food on the premises. That was their plan, and we just accepted it. We just move on. Um, we got it. We got it. I got in contact with um, 
boss of a Polish shop, food stop delicatessen in Bitten Road. It happened about three months ago. Since then, it was, it is very good. Yeah, let's put it this way. In the near future, we're thinking about like renting a premises as well, so our customers could, uh, you know, gather with family, friends, have a have a drink, and have a pizza indoors. But obviously, in the same time, keeping our truck as a as a takeaway delivery place. Well, why pizza? You know what? Let's start with the fact that everybody loves pizza, you know, <laughs> and I'm a big fan of pizza. But this is this is a good question because um, obviously I've mentioned at the beginning that we always wanted to to be in a food business with my wife, and we've been looking for opportunities. Um, at the very beginning, we even thought about starting a burger van because um, basically I'm a big fan of good food. Let's put it this way. <laughs> uh, so we thought about making a burger maybe. And we've, we've had a couple of you know ideas, but there was one night, like, I don't know, over two years ago, when me and my wife have been in the kitchen, you know, spending some time chilling, and we've been actually making a pizza. And then we realized, you know, when we were making this pizza at home, that, look, why, why are we going into burgers, yeah? We're doing delicious pizzas. Let's, let's keep with this one, you know? We, we knew we got a very good product, even, without like professional equipment and everything because mm, always on the parties like when friends were coming over they always said that well, pizza is very good so that, that's how it started that's how we finally decided we want to do a pizza that's what we want to do and focus on this one and um, at the beginning when I was doing like research uh, how to how to do it like start it professionally we even thought about um, maybe electric oven maybe gas oven because you know it was it's easy to just fit everything and again, what, what we thought is if we want to do something, let's do it the proper way, the best way possible. And then, you know, we've been starting thinking about uh, reading about like baking pizza in a wood-fired oven. And we, we knew it's, it's a just different quality of a, of a food when you just make it on a real fire. Obviously, it's not the easiest way. And I would say it's the most difficult way of making pizza. Um, but this effort is, is worth it, definitely. Yeah, because even if you compare, for example, a bacon pizza and electric oven, it just, well, well, you just put temperature, put a pizza in the oven and that's it, right? But with a wood fire oven, it's much different. You need to keep checking the temperature, keep like working with a fire, which is not an easy way to do. And obviously the process of baking pizza itself is, is I think, well, at the beginning, very difficult as well, because you need to make sure you don't burn it. The temperature is very high, we work in about 450 Celsius. But as I mentioned, it's all of these efforts are definitely worth it for the flavor that you, you get in.